goodness, with face, pet, and tis. Last time I man, I just want to bring up something serious, man. It's homelessness in America, man. What's going on with it? Now, from a couple of videos I've been watching, man, it's, it's a lot of different reasons why people are homeless. And and in a lot of these major cities, there's a that's a lot of homelessness going on, but what is really being done for us? So I just want to highlight a couple of things about homelessness situation in America and just just vibe on it real quick. Um, first they want to bring up like in a lot of major cities, especially New York, there's a, a very large population of homelessness, not homeless people, but a population of those people are medical refugees. A lot of people move to New York because a lot of medication they give there are free and people move there and don't have nowhere to live because they need the free medication. So they choose, I, I can either go here and live off my medication and just find a way to do it, or I can live where I'm living at now with my income and then can't provide for my health. So mm -hmm. people are put in situations like this because how our medical industry is. So people, are, some people are made homeless just because of medical decisions they have to make to get their medicine. And in a country like America, that that they shouldn't have, shouldn't be a decision you have to make. At all. You should be able to get your medicine and be able to make a living for yourself. To me, a medical refugee had to live on the streets because you, you you have to make that decision so you can get your medicine. That ain't right, man. And my next thing. As the numbers continue to grow with homeless, the homeless population, why has no billionaire really stepped up to do nothing? Um, we give out humanitarian, war, humanitarian awards every year to people who have all this money, but what are they truly doing to be humanitarians? Like the most humanitarian thing I can think of is trying to help in this homeless thing. You feel me? Like we have <clears throat> in these large cities and even in these small cities where actually you have large communities of homeless people who've taken over blocks or and that's just known as their area. I mean, it's so so many rundown buildings in these same communities that we can't repurpose it and do something for these homeless people, get them off the streets. Yeah, it's millions of programs of pedophiles and bullshit like this, but you don't have no programs you can put homeless people in who just don't have it. You may have somebody who's mentally incapable of doing something for themselves, but they're just out on the street. Because, just because decisions you feel me like sometimes it's somebody's decisions and life decisions who made them get out on the street other times it's just life situations but at the end of the day it's too many billionaires and millionaires in america we floss and ball and all this other shit but when it comes to helping the next man and really helping our people like what fucking what color you are like it's too much money in america to have people on the streets man and it, no that that's 100 percent real that's real mm -hmm. shit next um, well, all these architects, you feel me like, you know, architects want to do nothing pro bono about this bitch. You feel me like, it, it's all this land out here. All these millionaires and billionaires want to buy land and build communities. Buy some land. Get some storage containers. Make some residences out of storage containers. That's a new thing now. You can you can make a house out of storage containers. You feel me like, very easily. It's very cheap as well. You can do this and, and just make a little community for them. They're no longer homeless. They have a residence. And you can do a program. You feel me? If you think they're on drugs or something, put them in a program. Make that a condition of them living in the place. Boom. Do different shit. Give them incentives to try to get out of the situation they're in. Or you just contribute to the situation. If you're like, if we're not helping, we're, we're not doing shit. We're contributing to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it. It's 2021. We got the technology to do anything and everything we want to do, but we still deal with the same homeless situation we were dealing with the 60s, 70s, 80s. And it's only getting worse. Yeah, I was about to say I Oh, right. No, I was about to say it's getting worse. And I, I see it's like so many vacant buildings just 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 out there. And I see these buildings, then they've been been there for like forever, ain't been used or anything. Be there for like 10 years. And you, you just imagine how many people could probably fit that could live in that building, pretty much. No, nah, that's real. And uh, I, I'll say this. Morally, you are right about every single thing you said. Um, I think the biggest issue with the solutions that you posed or even billionaires getting together and, like, really doing something about it is say they went, got together, they made them co uh, containers into the homes, they got them up and running with electricity and plumbing, um, they got the people off the streets, got them uh, help with their drug 
networks and all that stuff, right? The amount of jobs available in this country still doesn't equal the amount of jo- the amount of people that are currently homeless when you consider what homeless really means. So, like, what the problem ends up being is the jobs that would be available to a lot of them wouldn't necessarily grant them the money to be able to maintain the home after they're given it. So with property taxes, with like just home repair and stuff breaks down around the home and stuff like it's not sustainable. So like a lot of, as long as we're under capitalism, nobody's going to invest that type of money for something that's not going to be able to sustain and actually be a long-term solution to the problem. Like it'll stop gap for like maybe a generation, but then as the homeless population builds up again, as those homes deteriorate, as people can't afford them no more, et cetera, we right back to square one. I think the the biggest, easiest way to fix it is to do what you said do, but like get to a socialist system where like the people control the money through a democratically elected government. Like how the government kind of dole out the funds and they, they act as like the banker and they, they basically pay all of the utilities and stuff for those people, for your housing or whatever. And those people's contribution to basically pay for that or to, ha- or to have the government pay for them is for them to actually doing work. So them going to do some type of jobs that provide to this society, that's what substantiates the government being paying for their utilities and stuff. Then it can work because then you, you got a way for them to like really be able to sustain that. But I think that's the biggest issue is just we, we, we're so such, that's why we got so many homeless. Like we're so stuck on such a greed based society where it's like, I got to get mine over you getting yours. It pushes out a lot of people who may just need some help. But instead of people reaching out to help, it's like, well, why would I, if it's not going to be sustainable and then I'm going to have to give them my resources. I'll just keep all my resources. Man, it brings me to another point. How much role should the government truly play in assisting that? You know, because, because at the end of the day, the government is for the people, by the people. You know? But if the people don't care, what can the government truly do at the end of the day? Um, so then it falls on the hands of those who have and those who want to help. That's why I brought up the billionaires in the first place, you know? because at the end of the day, these billionaires are true trendsetters. These billionaires influence the everyday person to do whatever. We got a billionaire right now. We say, let's wear holy clothes and shoes that look like space shoes. People are going to do it and go buy this shit and walk around to look homeless. Well, who are not really homeless. Speaking of Kanye West, because the clothes this motherfucker puts out, all wild as shit and has these holes in it and motherfuckers look at, walk around looking like they dirty as shit with brand new clothes. Yeah. This same crazy motherfucker said, you know what, I'm going out for every day for the next year and I'm going to get a homeless person in here. How many people on his level would just try to do it just because this motherfucker doing it? I'm going to outdo him. He doing one person, I'm going to do two. Now, a small scale operation like that, where they going out and they get like one person, they just helping them a little bit, maybe not give building them a whole home and all that, but like, let me get you some job assistance, let me get you some drug assistance, let me get you some uh, fresh clothes, you know, an interview or connect you with some people. That 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 could be something that would be dope. That could be a dope trend <laughs> that could get started if a billionaire did it. That's that's something that is actually feasible. Now. The shit that Jay Z, I forgot who doing it with, with Jay Z, but they just um, they big investors in what and just um, rent the own home, rent the home home and shit now. So they just invested in it. I forgot who doing it with Jay Z, but this they getting with this getting with this rent the own company and it becoming a real the big investment. So I mean that's gonna help, but shit on that scale, mm-hmm. all y'all motherfuckers getting on that shit. Y'all got the money to do it. You feel me? I think and it then, might be Will Smith. If ACOG can bring power to Africa, they can damn sure do it. You feel me? Like, y'all rappers, y'all spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a chain. <clears throat> For what? And they're going to preach them diamonds and appreciate with no value. You feel me? That fluctuates. Help a motherfucker out. You feel me? Pay that shit forward. Somebody had to give you a record deal. Help one motherfucker. I ain't telling you to heal the world with your money and go broke trying to do and change the world. But goddamn, the next homeless motherfucker you see and you know he homeless, take that motherfucker and change his life. I'll tell you how you change a homeless person's life. 
when you see a motherfucker struggling before they are homeless, when you see a motherfucker just struggling, go ahead and help them then. If you got mm-hmm. the means to do something at that moment, it, even if some, sometimes it's as so simple home. as just being a shoulder to listen, being somebody that can be there for them and be emotional support for them. Because a lot of people that's homeless, it starts as like mental and emotional issues that's, that's unchecked. Emotional, you know what I'm saying? It's not always financial. Sometimes it's like they end up financially destitute because they're going through severe depression or manic episodes or stuff like that, you know what I mean? Or just life issues that then drove them over the edge and the call them have mental breakdowns. So I think one of the biggest things we could do that's free is to just, what what can we do even on a just small level? Like, let me just be there to listen to your story real quick. Let me just see if I know somebody that can help you with, with what you're saying. I might not have the means, but I might, my uncle might be able to hook you up with a job or at least put your point you in the right direction. Like helping people before they get homeless. You know what I mean? It needs to be like no, a no, cultural, no. like some type of cultural change or whatever. Because in our capitalist society, we look, homelessness, poverty is looked down and frowned upon, period. And it doesn't, it's not, all right, some is like looked at with some sympathy, but for the most part or whatever, it's looked at more like an illness that you don't want to get. You don't want to touch them. You don't want to go near them. You feel like if you touch them, you end up getting broke too, pretty much. And that is like the mentality of the capitalist society. So like in order to change, you would have to change the system up some type of way. Like I feel like... Yeah. The capital like drives the mentality behind people thinking that they have to be in this rat race and that they have to outdo somebody. If you get it to where the mentality shifts to us all for one through the government mm-hmm. and it becomes part of our policies and procedures, it, it's easy to shift the mentality. But as long as the system is set up to support people who are greedy, you're going to lean mm-hmm. more toward that being the dominant thought process as opposed to what is really our natural thought process, which is to be communal and to like kind of, you know, help each other out and I do this and you do that and you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Like it's the it's the system that fucks everything up. I think and and then along with that, it's like you even with people, some people that they give or whatever and they make a spectacle of it. I think one is not like when someone actually does something, I don't think it's actually blown up more than it should. Like I feel like spectacles and drama and trivial stuff is blown up more than somebody highlighting if they did something positive, which is only which is also part of the mentality that people really just tune in when there's some type of spectacle or controversy and everything but that's also because this capitalist society and the way media is set up has got our minds into thinking that way um pretty much so like it's a whole it's a cultural and it's a cultural thing that needs to be done to be to push onto the government so they can push on to the people that actually have the money and the resources to do so because i mean even 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 with um some like philanthropists or whatever, like a lot of them, they get a lot of uh, tax write off. I don't know, maybe if we reward them with more tax write offs or whatever, but or a bigger tax write off for doing something like that or whatever. But it's it's not you're not gonna get too many people that's gonna do something unless they're gonna get something out of it, pretty much. Like that's that's the whole problem. Most people are not. Most people don't mind working as a team or building with their fellow man, but most people are not altruistic by nature at this point. We've been Mm -hmm. in hierarchical societies for too long, whether it be the feudal system, the caste system, capitalism, um, even communism, where the government is literally big brother type shit, where they run every aspect of the people's lives. you're basically looking at a bunch of different systems where there's a reward for you being the top of something. The only system that I can think of that I know of, I'll say that I've studied enough of to kind of understand 
<coughs> is socialism because that's a system where like even the government itself the power of them to do anything is given to them strictly by the people and the people can take it away at any point you know what i'm saying like the people are where everything resides and it's spread evenly it's not like like there's no incentive for me to make more than padawan when me and padawan gonna have the same thing no matter how much money i got i'm still gonna have what padawan had because that's how the system dictates when it's set up like that i lose the incentive there's no more I need a better car than him to get a better woman than him to get a better uh. perceived life than him. I, there's no more need to stunt or flex on anybody because we're all having the same access to the same thing. So at that point, it becomes more about character values, actual talents and skills. He's going to be considered cooler or whatever based off of his actual personality and the talents he brings to the table. He's an, he's an artist so he's going to automatically give more cachet socially in certain aspects because he can do more as, in that aspect as far as talent. But it's not going to be based on him having more money than me or anything. Mm -hmm. and, at, and at that point as well the money is so evenly distributed it's not this top heavy thing where we got where like the, just the people in the government or just the monarchy or just the top 1% got all the money. Everybody got the money. So it's like, there's no room for poverty because the tech, there's enough money for everybody to technically have a home, live comfortably and the technology we have <clears throat> where we could all eat. The problem is the top groups in each society, whether it be in a dictatorship, whether it be in a communist society, whether it be in a monarchy, whether it be in a, uh, a republic like we have, where it's based off capitalism. The whole world is run by systems where the top part keeps all of the wealth and resources and are rewarded for that mentality. Uh -huh. Whereas we need a system where that's flipped on its head, where you're rewarded for actually being good, where you're rewarded for actually putting work and time into a skill that benefits others. You feel me? Like those are things that like changes the mentality because now I don't have this pressure of, I need to get this stuff because if not, I can't be successful. And when, when that pressure is alleviated, now I can focus on just, what am I passionate about? Uh -huh. People are mistreating me, not because I have less than them, but because literally I'm a jerk. How do I fix that? Like I'm able to focus on certain things because the focus isn't on what I got. It got. It also got to be a, a system that can't be corrupted or persuaded by companies more right. than the more than the um the citizen. Like right. it can't, the company can't outweigh the citizen. The citizen's um, uh, view of it should outweigh the company pretty much because mathematically, population wise or whatever, the you have a population of people against one person. They well, you try to treat. In a socialist society though, companies are not for profit. Companies are to serve the greater good. So at that mm -hmm. point, it's like you have people working in these factories and these companies and these tech companies. Their job is not to make more money than somebody else. Their job is to literally make a higher quality product to serve the greater good because the company itself is technically the money, the, the money that it makes goes into funding the infrastructure and the government and running the public systems. It, it, it goes to funding healthcare. It goes to providing college education and schools for anybody who wants it. It goes to creating um, equal access to housing to where there are no homeless people because we all live in a similar style house to where my house is not better than yours. So I don't need mm -hmm. a mansion. I have what my family actually <laughs> needs. I have the size house that fits my family size as opposed to me ha living in excess so again like when if you was to break down a system of where you start at socialism and then you take all of these fundamental aspects of like what does real socialism entail you eliminate that corporate greed because now a company's not ran by a profit margin or core a company's worth to the government and to the people and to the society 
is literally how how good of a quality product and how useful is this to us on a day to day basis. Which means that the scientists at a corporation, they not worry about meeting the deadline. They worry about churning out the top notch creation that they can come up with. A musician isn't worried about their bottom line because they will make the same thing that the school teacher make. They're now literally just freed up to think about how can I make the absolute best piece of music that I can come up with? How can Mm -hmm. I express myself in this drawing or this painting the most free way I can? How can I teach this lesson to these children in the most retainable way possible for them? You see what I'm saying? Like the mentality shifted because you're not out for profit. Everything, like you're guaranteed a set amount of money that covers your basic bills and needs to pay these companies that are then paying the government to run all of these larger social programs. So it's mm-hmm. like every, everybody's working for the greater good. So it's like, I don't have a pressure to go in the rat race. My only pressure is how can I raise my societal standing through my good works? Like, if you think about it, if you eliminate money, right, and you eliminate like that class system to things, there's no racism because now my race don't mean shit. My race doesn't guarantee me certain privileges. All my race guaranteed me is that I burn quicker or less quick in the sun. <laughs> my nose is going yeah. to be shaped a certain way. But outside of that, like, my culture still, my ethnicity still will mean something. But my race really ain't going to mean nothing no more because racism was a construct created in order to subjugate other human beings and provide yeah. a rationale for it. So when you eliminate that capitalism aside, like, all of those other structures that have sprung from a uh, caste, feudal, or com- or um, capitalist mentality go away because the structures aren't there to support it anymore. Like the main reason racism and classism exist still today is because we have governmental systems and policies that support that line of thinking. That's my that's my opinion. I mean, you know, I'm sure a sociologist or a political scientist could come on here, you know, and maybe school me on it. And I'd love to learn more about it. But it's definitely something to the system leading the mentality more than the mentality leading the system. I'm glad you explained socialism because most people, they're, you know, like a conservative or somebody on one of them conservative news channels or something like that. They treat it like it's communism. Which socialism is, is welfare. Things. Socialism is welfare. Yeah. It's a system that the people need this. So the so the government uses the revenue raised by the people investing in the government to provide this for those people who can't do it through their own jobs or that don't have jobs. So it's like it's basically like the greater good. The tax dollars that we spend provide socialist yeah. care that gets babies health care for free through Medicare and Medicaid. Like the 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 socialist policies we have allow families who don't have jobs or who don't have access to financial growth to still be able to feed their children and not starve to death. So like we already got socialism in certain ways. It's just our general style of government and system of ec- economy is capitalism. We're just okay with certain social practices, socialist practices, when they benefit uh, the 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 society that has been deemed dominant, so because as of right now, Caucasian society is the tends to be the society that has dominated the economy in this country. I'll stick to just this country because of that. They get the benefits. Welfare wasn't provided when it was just black people that were poor after Reconstruction. Mm-hmm. Welfare was provided when, poor, when white people got poor due to the war that white people was in. White people got started welfare and Medicaid and all this stuff because they were poor as hell because they fucked up the economy due to the stock market crash because of their capitalist ways. Like, so the way you even it out to where it's not just one race or one group getting it. You got to destroy the whole system. You change the system, you change the mentality, and a lot of, you will still have certain social problems that's going to stem up because we're human, we're flawed. But Uh the mass systemic problems that we have will be gone. 
That's my nope. opinion. You know, pod squad people, you know, watching this, let me know how I'm wrong. Let me know. <laughs> I'm open to the discussion, but I definitely feel like that. It's all about demand. Yeah, man, everything is a mentality, man. The system support mentalities. Like, think about it. The only difference between a black person in the suburbs and a black person in the hood and their trajectory in life and their expected outcomes is not their race. It's not their talent level. They could be born with the exact same IQ and all of that shit. It's simply the systems that surround them that either support their mentality being one way or support their mentality being another way. You grow up in a loving home where your parents love on you and provide for you and nurture you both emotionally, mentally, and financially. You're going to be, you have systems that now support your mentality being more of a positive outlook and more of a belief nature. You grow up in a system where everything around you, your finances are struggling, your emotional support is not there, and your everyday outlook that you see is poverty then that becomes your mentality. Like it, it's, uh-huh. your environment dictates your mentality. So like, you you know what I'm saying? You can overcome some of that with your mentality, but there has to be some, some certain basic levels of mass loss hierarchy of needs that are met for you to be able to overcome it mentally. Like uh-huh. if you're starving, you're, it's hard to have hope. Yeah. Because your brain is not wired to be in some, in, optimist mode it's a it's a survivalist mode i just need to make it to the mall how do Uh i live for the next few hours so like you break down the system you change the system you change the mentality of millions possibly billions of people worldwide immediately which is a slow and gradual process with yeah the whole point is to start me you look at the happiest countries though a lot of them have socialist type a lot of their government is ran through socialist practices. Even in other words, completely socialist. Help a nigga out. Say? I say, in other words, rich motherfuckers, help a nigga out. Help somebody out. Shit. That's it, man. Reach each one, teach one, reach one, man. Like, if you got it, like... There it is. But help a motherfucker. Educate a motherfucker on how to get what you got. You feel me? Yeah. It ain't always motherfucker who already got money and need an education on how to get to their level. Sometimes it's a motherfucker who only got five dollars who need the education on how to get to 20. Help a nigga out. Help a nigga out. Amen. Help a nigga out. Help a nigga out, man.